I'm going to go over how to make a wreath, a fall one, using these. Come on and see. For this fall autumn wreath, all you need are some hoops. You can get bigger sizes. I got a small one. A foam circle, a flat one. Some succulents that are fake. Wire cutter, box cutter, fabric scissors. A spray adhesive, you can go whichever brand. And then a pencil. Oh, and a glue gun for later. First thing you're gonna do is get your thumb. And you're also gonna get your ring. So, we have our ring. And you get your pencil. You can use a regular pencil. I'm just using a color pencil so I can see it better. And if you wanna use a Sharpie, you can too. I just like pencils. I'm doing the out inside layer, but you can also do the outside layer. So depending how which length you want to cut it, if you want to make it thin and glue this on the outside, you can, or if you want to do it on the outside. So you're like, no, I want this to be glued on top of the foam, you can too. So, that's our first circle. Then you have your little circle. And this one, I'm going to do on the inside layer, not the bow. Ta-da! It's a little crooked, but it's okay. So now, we're gonna get our box cutter. And we're just gonna cut away the excess. Okay, so when you're using your box cutter, I almost forgot, I got cutting away, I completely forgot. You wanna use like a mat so you can go really deep in. And you can cut it off and try. There's half of it. You can do it all around in a circle or cut it off in chunks. I like chunks. Makes life simpler. Alright, so we got that part. Now we gotta do the inside. So for the inside, you might need an exacto knife to make to get the deepest side. It's okay if it comes out messy because you're gonna cover it with fabric. So now we have our fabric. And now we're gonna use that as our template to cover it. Now that I know it's that length, what I'm gonna do is make a box around my circle because I kinda wanna wrap it like a present to cover up all the edges. Or if you don't want to cover up all the edges like a fabric, um, like a fabric, like a gift, you can just cut up the shape you want and then spray it. Okay. So you got our shape, you got our glue. And now what you're gonna do is spray it. You got a spray adhesive, you got a fabric, and you just place it on top. Nice. So it's spread. So something you want to see to wrap it, you're going to cut it in strips so you can fold it over. Okay, you got your strips. So another thing you want to do, if it's too long, like right here, you can just cut it. So we're going to cut that one. That's okay, that's okay. You just want to check, make sure the length of it isn't too long. So we're ready for the wreath. So now you're just going to spray and glue. You're going to spray both the side and the top. So we got the spray and you're just going to press down and stick. Just press down all the sides and we got the back. Now we gotta worry about the middle. Sorry guys, I just realized I forgot to record a step, so I'll just explain it. So for the inside part of the circle, what I did was go in there and pierce a hole, and then used my scissors to cut strips on the inside. And then I folded it over and sprayed it in. And so when you cover, it's like covered in. 
yeah, sorry about that, but don't worry, um, it's really sticky, so you're gonna wanna let it dry. So while it's drying, you get your succulents, and you're gonna get your wire cutter, and you're gonna cut it pretty short. Ta-da! We're cutting them short because we're gonna glue them in front. There we go. So we got two short ones, and this one, this one's gonna be a toughie. Oh wait, can I get the sleeve off? Ah! So maybe you don't need to cut it, you can just pull it out. So then you have those pretty short. So the way this is gonna work, you're gonna glue this on top of your wreath. All right, so now that it's dry and your succulents are ready, we are ready to finish the front. So this is the front of your thing. So depending if you want your wreath print to go this way or up and down, depending on your print, it's up to you. So now, we're gonna glue. So that part is glued, and all we have left are our succulents. So then you glue on your succulents. So then we glue. I might put some on the leaves just to make sure it grabs onto something. And press. Ta da! And there you go, you have your autumn wreath. So all you need to do next is put the backing to it. So I'm using this piece to hook it. I got my glue gun. And press. And you just let it dry, and then you have your hook. Now if you don't have one of these little hooks, silver hooks, that's okay. You can always use ribbon to hook it on as well. So you're like, that's really thin to hold. Well, you can always hold it here even though it kind of covers it. Or you can buy one of these and it'll fit perfectly on your door and it's removable, so you got options. But there you go, there's your wreath. That's all you need. So there you go, a wreath you can use for all for fall. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.